everybody. I am sorry about the uh, lack of audio in the opening. I forgot to uh, update the file. Anyway, my name is Jeff, aka G Curse, and I hope you're all having a great day. It is currently 5:35 p.m. on the 3rd of November, 2023. It is actually a. Uh, it's starting to become a real stormy Friday evening here in the city of Kelso, Washington. And I literally have nothing to do, so I thought, hell, why not do an unboxing and review uh, video? As you can see, I still got a lot of figures behind me, so it isn't like I'm lacking any real content. I figure I had some free time now that I'm done with work for the day. And the figure I am about to uh, unbox and review, it is actually a figure that, ha that even to this day, it's pretty hard to come by. Not because of the rarity of the figure, but basically because Hasbro utterly and without remorse fucked up the distribution of this figure. Now, you're probably wondering what figure it is, and you're going to have to stay tuned just a minute or two longer during these commercials from the 1980s, and I'll be right back. <laughs> That's generations ahead. Big cheeses have more cheeses. Big cheeses have more cheeses. Big cheeses have more for you to love. It's a triple taste treat that can't be beat. Yay! Burger King introduces the Big Cheese, Swiss Jack and American on a flame broiled burger. There is more for you to love. Cause we do it like you to do it. I Burger King. Welcome back, everybody. So, at the end of the last uh, segment, I mentioned how the figure that I am about to unbox and review was pretty rare due to some colossal size fuck ups that Hasbro initiated with this figure's uh, distribution. To this date, the distribution issues has not been totally fixed. I don't think they ever will be. This figure, from what I understand, this figure was never available at normal retail uh, locations, at least where I live. From what I heard, I think this figure was actually pretty rare, and you could only really find it. I think they said it was like a, uh, one of the major theme parks. Uh, I think it may... I can't recall what it was. I don't think it's Disney. I think it's... Uh, oh, God, I can't recall what the other one besides Disney is. But anyway, getting this figure was so difficult that Hasbro ended up actually releasing, soon to be releasing, I'm guessing, a gift set. And now you probably already know who I'm going to say, it, unless you already, you know, the title of this video is going to say it all. But anyway, the figure I am about to unbox and review is the, here, let's see if I can actually enlarge it. It is the Transformers Legacy Commander Class Motormaster. And this was a figure I desperately wanted because I finally received, you know, not received, I got the other, uh, the four component pieces. So all I needed was Motormaster. And no matter where I went, whenever I went, this guy was just not there. And then, like I said, I did some research and come to find out he was like pretty exclusive to like one store. And at which I'm like, why the fuck is this figure only at one store? This guy is the motherfucking backbone of Combiner. Without this guy, the other Stunticons can't do jack shit. Why would Hasbro literally f shoot themselves in the dick when it came to this figure? I, I, I don't understand. I would, I, I would love... To have been a fly on that wall when they said, yeah, we got this combiner team, the Stunticons. It's five Transformers. They combine to make this big-ass motherfucker. And they're like, oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. 
So are we going to release it as like a, a gift pack? Oh, no, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to break them up. Okay, okay. We, You're telling us, though, that these figures are going to be, you know, readily available to the general the general consumer, right? Well, one of them will be, drag strip will be really, really easy to find. The rest of the motherfuckers, no, we're going to make it real hard, but here's the catch. Motormaster, the central figure, we're only going to sell at one store. <laughs> Genius! Genius! But, uh, yeah, so unless you ordered it from, like, a third-party website like Big Bad Toy Store or something, you're, you're not, you were never gonna find this figure in a Target, in a Walmart, in a Fred Meyers, in a dumpster, in, in a bakery, on a dilapidated boat. You'll never find this figure anywhere else other than, like, third-party websites or this one place i got like maybe it's mgm grand or something like mgm studios or something but it was like a it was like a from what i understand it was like a, a fucking like what disneyland is but not disneyland if that makes any sense but anyway so back on to the information so this figure is not a remold or a recolor of any other previous figures this figure is brand new so basically that's one thing i love i love it when i get a chance to unbox and review a figure that has not been recolored or repurposed i just like having that fresh sand you can walk on you know like imagine going to a whole new planet nobody's ever walked there you are going to be the first one to take a walk on that beach your footprint will be the very first footprint on that beach well that's the kind of sensation i get when it comes to figures that have never been repurposed from other figures like Motormaster here so i actually had to go after after kind of giving up i ended up bu uh, buying this figure at, on amazon uh the figure was 99 dollars 11 then you add the 8.2 percent sales tax which equals to 1723 this, uh, there was no, uh, shipping and handling because of the fact that I'm a prime customer and I had it shipped to a locker. I do want to say that the package was in good shape when I received it. So if this person or this group or business is still selling it, it's J&M Collectibles. I, I strongly endorse this, uh, seller if they're still selling Motormaster. I had no problem with mine. So hopefully you would not have a problem with yours. But still, $107, that is a little bit pricey, but like I said, this figure is, you know, fucking rare as motherfucking hell to find. Okay, so that is it. Oh, shit, I forgot to put this on. Oh, well, I forgot to do that. Hold on, let me... I was so eager to get, you know, get the information out, and boom. Okay, and then let's forgot to do that see this is proof that i'm not this is not a professional setup i don't have hundreds of people here to like proofread everything i do no i'm just one simple fat guy in, in a chair in front of a computer that loves to share his love of transformers but anyway so that was the transformers unboxing and review of legacy commander class the motor master the unveiling stay tuned and i'll be right back with the actual unboxing and uh, then the review and all that other good stuff. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Most hot dogs don't quite make it to the end of the bun. So you're left with the end of the bun. Here you go, Ralph. That's why Hillshire Farm created bun size wieners. Kids like them because they taste great. Moms like them because they're made with quality cuts of beef and pork. And they're longer so they fit the bun better. You get a bite of hot dog for every bite of bun. Sorry, Ralph. Bun size wieners from Hillshire Farm. Just look for this nice young man on the label. TJ Maxx. Over 10,000 brand name summer fashions arrive at TJ Maxx every week. So it's never the same place twice. No, it's never, ever the same place twice. Yesterday. Next week, next Saturday night. You get the max for the minimum, minimum price. And it's never. Ever the same place to
Alrighty, everybody. So welcome back. So up next we have the unboxing portion of the video. And if this is any indication, I think this may be like a two-parter because I think this guy's going to be in his alt mode, which means I am not going to try to convert this guy on camera because I'll look like a fucking idiot. So I'm just what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up like a MGO video of his just transform it and uh, this guy transformed and did all resume recording. But anyway, so let's get on to the show, shall we? So on the front, we have this big boy here. We have Legacy, uh, not even Legacy Evolution. This is just Legacy Motormaster. Here you see Motormaster. He's racing down the street. And I'm kind of confused here. I'm looking at this picture, and I can't tell. Are they saying that this guy is, like, just that huge? Or is he, like, on like like on an uh, elevated roadway? I can't tell, to be honest. You have a couple of the uh, stunt guns here. You have one over there. Although I can't see where the fourth one is. I see two, I see the two that are down here. You got one up here, but where's the fourth one? Hmm. Huh. I can't. I can't see it. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, so on this side you have the legacy artwork. On this side, you see, uh, oh god, what's his name again? Minosaur. You see Minosaur on this side. On the top, Legacy with uh, Motormaster. On the bottom, useless shit. On the back, wow, holy shit. On the back, he has two conversion numbers. 45, I guess, to go from uh, Motormaster to Minosaur. And then it looks like uh, 23 to go from his, uh, the cab or the truck mode to, his, or the alt mode to his primary mode. Oh, there's actually three. Then you got 23 steps. Oh my God. What? Let's see there. 23 steps to go into his base uh, defense mode. I guess that's what you could call it. But that is it. So let's actually pull up the dual camera setup. Hopefully my computer doesn't freak out. Okay, got that. And then let's go with this one. Bingo. There we go. So let's move the keyboard. And before anybody says, these are actually the blast effects that uh, was with the unit, uh, not the Unicron, the uh, Generation Selects uh, Cyclonus that I reviewed yesterday. Okay, so let's get this box opened up, shall we? This is actually one of the first huge figures that I got from that I put on the shelf uh, late this last summer, and that tells you how long it's been since I've had a chance that I before I've been able to even open this guy up. Okay. Oh boy, it's actually a nice feeling to finally know that you have a Minosaur. Okay. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Did they glue him in? Okay, well, here's the box. <laughs> here's the box. Let's see here. Why can I not get this guy pulled out? I don't want to, like, risk damaging anything. It's just... There he goes. There he goes. Ooh, wow. Okay. Okay, so here we have the standard instructions. I'm not going to read it because I don't roll like that. Jeff, you should read the instructions. Yeah, well, I've tried before, and those instructions fucking suck. Okay, we got some cardboard here. Nothing of interest. I'll just, uh, I'll just toss that right there. Okay. So, ooh, I, that was right. He's in his alt mode already. Wow, look at this. All this cardboard with two huge empty slots. Did they really need to have this much fucking empty cardboard? Look at this. Look at this, Hasbro. Look at this. Look at, look at, I'm like doing like what you used to do as a child. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> but really, in all seriousness, did you really need? I was, ex I thought when I first pulled, started pulling this out, I thought maybe there was going to be like closed up a little bit. And there was going to be, like, the weapons or something. So I'm guessing all the weapons must be inside the trailer. But, I mean, like, really, you could have literally cut out half, half 
of the fucking packaging here. This bo this package did not need to be this fucking huge. This is excessive. Holy shit. I thought we were going to have like some major fucking shit filling this box out. This box could literally have just been... Since they packed this guy in his alt mode, it could literally be at the size... The box... Oh, hell. The box itself could have been the same size as this portion here. You did not need to have the top and the bottom here. Holy fucking shit. What the hell were you thinking, Hasbro? Come on. And the thing is... It's not even secured. It's not even secured. You can literally pull the motherfucker out. Oh my god. There, were, there was like literally no securement bands at all. Now granted, I do get upset about, you know, them having it. But I would like, you know, like. Literally, there is nothing here. Nothing here. There is nothing here. Hello? Anybody here? Anything here? Hello? 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 No, there is nothing here. What the fuck, Hasbro? What the fuck? Look at this. You just murdered 18 rainforests to make this box. Holy fucking shit, Hasbro. Okay. Well. Okay, with all... But, you know, with that rant out of the way, I do have to say this trailer it is fucking heavy this thing has some weight i mean i could literally throw like a fucking football you know like I, I, but i'm not going to i'm not going to but anyway so we have the turn the the cab portion of motormaster and he actually moves pretty pretty nice i'm not sure if you sound can hear it but because the wheels are a hard plastic and it's on my desk it actually sounds like an engine revving up. Oh my god, that is fucking awesome. Although I do miss the days when we used to have rubber rubberized wheels. I, those are the days I truly miss. Okay, so here we can put his trailer back on. And there we go. Oh my god. I do have to admit, in the, in the alt mode... This figure looks fucking nice. Hold on, I'm going to get one drink of water. So, as I was saying, this guy looks fucking nice. The sad thing is, after this video, this figure is never going to be in its alt mode. Because if you know anything about me, you know... That I get these figures out of the box, I do the videos, and then it goes onto a shelf. Ugh. Damn, this does look nice, though. I gotta admit, this does look nice. I like the black. I love the purple. Uh oh, oh, there it goes. And the purple isn't just literally on the windshield here. You got a couple little uh, windshield or windows up here. You got the side. You got the top. You know, it, it, it fucking looks nice. I gotta say, it looks nice. It rolls nice. I just, the main, my main regret is just the fact that this figure is so hard to get. And the people who are able to get this figure has to put out a shit ton of money. Which I think it's bullshit. Not because of the fact that this guy is a leader or a commander class. It, you know, it's going to cost a lot of money because of the fact it has the trailer, it has all that other stuff. But they're going to have to fork out a lot of money because of the fact that they have to go through third party s sellers. This guy should not have been this difficult to locate. You are literally selling a combiner. However, you are you are fucking restricting the goddamn consumer base by making the central figure, the figure that all the other stunt cons uh, need, you know, that they need require to make Minotaur. You are literally restricting the general public's accessibility to this figure. And if you actually condone what my, uh, not Microsoft, what Hasbro did with this guy, then you're actually part of the problem. 
you're actually part of the problem. You should be understanding that not everybody can go to some fucking theme park to get this figure. But so here, let's do a quick, you know, a quick look. So here he is on the from the front. Here he is from the side. Here he is from the back. Here he is standing up upright like that. Here, there you go. He actually looks like he can literally th this mo like him this orientation right here. He literally looks like he could be. Uh, uh, a combiner, like a titan's leg or something. That's how big this guy is. Yeah, this guy is actually pretty tall, you know, when he's propped up like this. And then here he is from the bottom. So, you know, there you go. So that is it for this portion of the unboxing. When I return, it will be... Uh, I'm just going to stop the recording. I'm going to get this guy converted, and then I will uh, start the recording back up. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So I watched the MGO video. Like I said, I was going to the Just Transform, just transform It, and it took. It wasn't that I didn't take that long to get this guy done, but so I got uh, Motor Master converted from his cat or his alt mode. To his primary mode so let's actually check out the cab now the only thing I'm, i kind of do not like i'm not sure if there is i don't see one though so wait could these be it okay nothing's coming out i don't like how it doesn't there should be like a little uh like a kickstand or whatever you want to call it that way it doesn't just constantly fall down like this i do not like that that's not good hasbro Okay, so, now, like I said, I do not plan on doing the, converting this guy into Minasaur. I prefer to keep him in uh, their uh, component pieces. So, let's see here. I'm just seeing how I, how the hell do I get his accessories out? I literally just want to get his weapons out. I have a feeling, though, it's not going to be that simple. Oh, God. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm going to have to do. I am going to... I'm going to turn back on the... Uh, actually, I'll stop the recording again. And then I will... I'm just going to try to get the information to get this thing opened up. And then I'll resume recording the uh, continue my part of the unboxing and review and all that. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. So I am back and I quit, did a quick watch of the MGO video to just transform it. And I, I'm guessing he only, with the exception of the blaster, but the blaster looks like it's mainly meant for Menasaur. It looks like possibly the only accessory that Motor Master comes with is hold on let me turn my camera there we go it looks like the only ca uh, weapon that he comes with is his sword so let's actually get him weaponed up and it is a nice sword i will say it is a nice sword and there you go you have minasaur in his primary mode holding his sword and then in the background you have his uh you have his, oh my god, what, there has to be an easier way to get this, get this down. You have his trailer, oh my god, there you go. And I like the fact, the fact that it actually has a little stand for it to stand, you know, for it to actually not, not, you know, b fall forward, you know, because of the fact that it's front heavy. So I like that, I like that. Thank you, Hasbro. But, so, here we go. So, the, we, you know, here is Motor Master in all his uh, good, uh, you know, primor primary form goodness. Overall, he looks pretty damn nice. I got to say, he looks nice. 
I, I have a motor master. It is the Combiner Wars motor master, and it is the G2 gift pack. So I, I, I got it, that when I first started getting back into collecting Transformers. And at that time, I'll be honest, I didn't read what I was buying, so I didn't realize I was getting a G2 variant. And then come to find out the other, the loose components for Minasaur are fucking expensive. So I did not buy the loose components. I just kept the gift pack. And I told myself when uh, Motor Ma you know, Minasaur was going to come out when after it was announced. I said I was going to get him. So I'm, I'm glad I finally did. And here he is. So here is a front pose, the front of him. Here is the side. His left side. Here's his right. And here's his back. Overall, he looks pretty damn nice. Uh, I'm not sure if I converted it uh, differently or if I did something wrong. But when I was first converting him, I had uh, a little bit, you know, to me it looked a little bit weird in the leg area. But I think I got it fixed now. But overall, he looks pretty damn cool, doesn't he? I love the G1 colors. I have, like I said, I have the G2 variant. And it's a G2, so it's going to be a lot brighter. But to me, the colors that they used for the G2 Minasaur from Combiner Wars, it just it really didn't uh, stick with these guys. But I understand what they're trying to do. So that is it for the unboxing portion of this video. Uh, stay tuned, and I'll be right back with the review. This is Epcot Center. This summer, bring your family to Epcot Center, Walt Disney World in Florida. Luxury in the fast lane. Your Jeep Eagle dealers bring you Eagle Premier with one of the most powerful engines in its class, an optional multi-port fuel-injected overhead cam V6 with a drag coefficient lower than any sedan built in North America. And now with special factory financing, only 8.8%. Or take advantage of this special bonus. Eagle Premier, world-class technology that's easy to get into. Now at your California Jeep Eagle dealer, where you can expect the best from the best. Okay, everybody, welcome back. This is the portion of the video where I do my review of the Transformers Legacy Commander Class Motor Master. And I have it broken into three categories. There's the positives, the negatives, and the uh, pet peeves. So let's actually get to that. But before I do, if you have made it to this portion of the video, I just want to say thank you. Uh, if you find what I'm saying informative, feel free to click that subscribe button and you'll be updated to when I release new content. So let's get to it, shall we? For the positives, I do have to say that this is a nice update to a Generation 1 figure. I never had uh, any of the combiners that I can recall growing up uh, during G1. So to get this guy, it's actually you know a pretty nice update. I have the Combiner Wars... Uh... Uh... God, the Combiner Wars Minasaur. But it's the G2 variant. And I'll be honest, from what I understand, like the Minas, uh, the Motor Master, I'm guessing that that was the aesthetic of that figure was more in line of the comics, I think. But I actually like the way this guy looks compared to the Motor Master from Combiner Wars. So this is a nice update. I, I, you know, I really enjoy this figure. Another positive is the coloring. Actually, here, let's just leave them up here. Uh, overall, the coloring it is pretty damn nice. The only issue I have is with the purple. And it really doesn't show it on the camera. The camera, the purple kind of does... The purple, you know, is kind of visible. But I'm not sure if it's my vision or not. But it's just a little bit darker when I look at it head on. You know, it, it's hard to really see the purple. Especially when, like, you're in a slightly darker area. The blacks just seem to really take over the purple but it's nice so it's nice don't get me wrong uh the conversion 
Now, I actually, uh, at the end of this video, if you want to see at the very end, I'm going to post uh, some outtakes. Basically, I ended up doing a recording of me watching MGO 316, which I'll also post a link to his, just transform it in the description of this video. Uh, I used his video to help me convert this guy, and honestly, this figure was not that hard to convert. Normally, I don't like converting figures. It's not my favorite thing. I like to have them in their primary form, and that way I can just put them on the shelf and everything. The last figure I can recall having to convert recently was uh, Skyquake, if I remember correctly, during this last summer. And I fucking hated it. I fucking hated that. Even when I was watching MGO's videos, or his Just Transform It video, I was just, I was just fumbling through. I'm not a fan of converting these figures. But this guy, I do have to give Hasbro credit. This guy was not that difficult. It was not that difficult at all. The alt mode of uh, of Motor Master, I keep wanting to say Minosaur, but Motor Master, his alt mode, it's actually pretty damn nice. And you can see how much I actually liked it in the previous segment during the unboxing. So I actually liked his alt mode. The box art. Here, let me pull it, show you to you guys again. The box art is fucking nice. Now, am I going to be keeping the box? No. I don't keep the boxes. I'm not into box collecting. But I, I can admit what I like, you know, when I see something I like art-wise, I will say I like it. And I got to admit, this is a nice piece of artwork. It is very nice. The accessory for Motormaster is a sword, as you can all see. I kind of have it in a downward pose right now. Uh, it, it, I feel that it, it, it sizes nice, or I'm guessing you could say it scales nicely with the figure. It's not too big. It's not too short, too, too short. It's not too short or small. And the weight of the trailer, holy shit. Now granted, the, uh, this trailer basically, it's like a parts former. I guess that could be the correct term, but this thing, it, it's the, it's all the parts that makes um, Minosaur, sorry, Jesus, Jeff, it makes Minosaur, so that's why it has a little bit of heft to it, but this thing is actually pretty heavy, I gotta give them credit, this thing does not feel cheap, this actually feels like it justifies the cost somewhat of this figure that I uh, purchased. Now, sadly, with every positive, there are going to be negatives, and there are some negatives with this figure now i know that this could be seen as a pet peeve when it comes to the excessive box size now you're you're going to say what do you mean jeff what do you mean excessive box size now here's the box this is what we initially see when we get by these uh, our transformers especially in these closed boxes this is all we see so we see a huge box and we think holy shit this thing is going to be huge and to their credit, I'm pretty sure if I was to combine Motormaster with Drag Strip, Dead, and Wild Rider, and I can't recall. Oh, Breakneck. Isn't Breakneck the other one? If I was to combine Motormaster with the other four uh, Stunticons, I'm sure he'd be huge. But you see this box and you think, oh shit, this is going to be huge. That's not the case. That's not the case. It's very deceptive because this is actually the size of what... Minosaur or Motormaster was. You see this little hollow spot here? There's that little hollow spot. This is the entire compartment that Motormaster was in. And you're well, you're thinking to yourself, well, what about the you know the, the, the compartments on the top or the bottom here and up here? Did stuff come in those compartments? And the extra and answer is no. It was actually fucking empty. So basically, this box could have literally been half the size. All they had to do was really create an external box that would complement this compartment here. Because I don't even think anything came in this compartment. Yeah, I don't think anything came in this compartment that I can recall. And nothing up here or here. Literally, they just artificially in inflated the size of the box. 
the argument could be, well, it's for the artwork. You're telling me that you could not do a complimentary piece of artwork that would fit that the a box half that size? I think, honestly, that by having a box that big, they kind of justified some of the pricing for Motormaster in the size of that box. Because when I first saw this box, when I uh, got it from the Amazon locker and everything, I got the box from my, op I opened up the uh, Amazon box before I opened up the Motormaster box earlier. I saw the size of this box and I thought, holy shit, this thing is going to be big. Hell, they even make it look like Motormaster is going to be huge. Look at look at how much space he takes up on the artwork. Holy fucking shit. So you see this and you think that this guy's going to be fucking huge. But in reality, you're only getting you're only getting an actual box compartment, now about half the size, a little bit less than half the size possibly of the main box itself so that, that that's one of the major negatives i know people would say that it's a pet peeve but i think honestly the size of that box also kind of factored into the high cost of this figure next up another negative is i had to buy this figure at, from a third party uh, third party, especially with their cost, which was $99, and I, I actually showed it here, I'll, give me one second, I'll pull the image back up, okay, so as I was saying, I, uh, I had to pay, you know, third party price, you know, and the more, and the older I get, in the beginning, I hated third parties, I hate scalpers, you know, on a level, on a, on a, base level i still hate scalpers they take advantage of everybody but on the other hand i i tend to look i try to look at the overall picture and I, part of me can under, also understand why they charge as much as they do because of the fact that this figure is not readily available to everybody this is motor master is not a figure you can literally go to target or walmart or fred myers you know where i live and find I never even fucking saw this guy at any of those stores. And I would dread to see how much this guy would go for at Fred Myers, considering Fred Myers has a history of just up pricing their or, or increasing the price, you know, to no end. But I can understand why the scalpers are doing what they do. So I, like I said, I had to pay $99.11 and then you add the 8.2 sales tax, which equals $107.23. And this this price here that you're seeing right here, this is due to Hasbro. And that kind of actually goes into the next uh, issue that I have with this. It's the limited availability. It's the limited availability. Hold on, let me actually turn this off now. It's the limited availability. This, you would think... You would think that they would have the core of a combiner, Menace, uh, Motor Master here. You would think that they would have the core be as fucking available as possible across every store. But that's not the case. From what I understand, this fucking figure was available. I think it was only available like at one store or something like that. It was supposed to be, I think it was like a fucking souvenir place or something at... at uh, at uh, one of the theme parks. I may be wrong about that, so you can correct me if I, if I am. I know there's going to be people that will correct me. Just, that'll try to correct me that just to be jerks, you know. But this figure was not available that, that readily. And it, it's kind of sad because the fact is, without this guy, you don't have Menasaur. Basically, this guy is Menasaur now because... You don't even need the component parts to form Minasaur, which I'm going to talk about in the pet peeves. You don't need the 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 you don't need Wild Rider, Dead End, Breakneck, and uh, Drag Strip. You don't need them to to make Minasaur. Now, literally, it's an exoskeleton basically that Motor Master has, and if you don't have the core comp other components, that's fine. You don't need them. 
which I think is fucking weird because that takes away the whole idea of a fucking combiner. A combiner is taking multiple to make one. It's like evil fusion. You take two to make one. A combiner, you take f you take five to make one. That's It's in the fucking title, combiner. You combine to make one. And you're not doing that anymore with Motor Master, with uh, Minotaur. You literally have a fucking exoskeleton, which, like I said, it just kind of ruins the whole idea of a fucking combiner. And then finally, for the negatives, a big, major fucking, like, what the hell were they thinking? The lack of any securement for Motor Master. Seriously, what the fuck, Hasbro? When I did the unboxing and I got this package opened up, I was literally shocked that there were no bands, there was nothing here to secure Motor Master to the box. As you can see, there are no, here, I can't even tell if you can see it, there are no, like, little hole punctures to indicate, like, any securement was used. There was nothing. They literally just put, mo they, they literally, here, I can't really do it with Motor Master because he's converted, but they literally just put the fucking trailer in, And they were like, okay, good enough. No, it's not fucking good enough. This motherfucker, even though people don't like, you know, the figures being secured, there is a reason that they are secured. It's to prevent damage during, uh, damage during shipment. That means that before I even bought this figure from the third party, this figure could have been just, could have just literally been like moved around shaking about now i can't really go hardcore because there's nothing here to keep the trailer in place but what if this fucking box went flying across the amazon truck like my poor ultra magnus did which i still haven't received because the the, the figure was destroyed during a uh, vehicle accident but what's there to say that this box could have been in a fucking accident this figure could have been flung into the wall into a wall in the van going like 50 miles down I-5. Granted, the damage, the figure would still probably be damaged, but I would feel a little bit, I'd feel a little bit more confident if the figure had some sort of, uh, some sort of securement. And it literally had none. I was, I think in the video, during the unboxing uh, video, I actually, I think I actually, you know, was kind of, you know, recorded that i was a little bit shocked that i could literally just pull the fucking figure out i could literally just pull the figure out and and it shouldn't be like that there needs to be some sort of secure securement to these figures what it is is if it's paper if it's plastic if the tray that the figure sits in is kind of vacuum sealed somewhat around the figure I'm not sure what it should be, but there needs to be some sort of securement. And the lack of secu any securement, especially for a figure that costs triple digits, it's unacceptable. It's fucking unacceptable. And I expect uh, I expect it better from Hasbro. Okay, and then finally we come up to the pet peeves. Now, there's actually quite a few pet peeves. Normally the pet peeves... Uh, are not as plentiful as the positive and negatives. Uh, hold on, let me actually fix that because, I mean, because people may be confused. Oh, God. Hold on, let me pause it. One second. Okay, I'm back. I hope I... Tr I, I paused this for a moment. I wasn't sure if I had... The, I hope I have the right effect down. I can't recall this is the right one, but we'll we'll just run with it. We'll just run with it. Uh, so basically, the pet peeves the pet peeves does not affect the figure itself. It's just stuff that kind of bothered me a little bit, you know. With the, probably with the exception of the uh, exoskeleton, which I'll talk about in a minute. The lack of accessories for Motor Master. Now, when I say Motor Master, I mean in, in his base form. So basically, his primary form, not this guy. Well, this guy, not the truck, not the trailer. And definitely not the battle station that the trailer turns into. I'm talking about accessories for Motor Master in his primary form. This figure, from what I understand, I think this figure went anywhere between like $80 to 
when it was sold before third parties. You're telling me that for that cost, you literally only get a sword for Motormaster in his primary primary form. Why not a sword and a blaster? Because if I remember correctly, I think with the exception of I think it's Breakneck, all the other Stunticons actually came with like two blasters, if I remember correctly. I don't have them with me. But I think they all came with two blasters. You would think that the leader of the Stunticons would have at least, you know, the sword and a blaster. But they didn't do that. Now, when I was watching the MGO video when I was converting this guy, it looks like that there is a blaster for Minasaur, but I don't think it's small enough for a... Uh, for this guy to use, so I'm not going to count that blaster as an accessory for Motormaster's primary form. I think personally that this guy should have should have had a sword and like a rifle or something. That, and that's something I've kind of mentioned before in my previous reviews. I think that every Transformer should have at least three accessories. A melee weapon, like a sword. A blaster a or a projectile weapon of some sort. And an accessory that could be unique to that character. So, for example, uh, oh, for, like, say, Perceptor. Give him an, uh, an accessory like a scanner. Like a hand scanner or something. Because the guy is like a scientist. A hand scanner would be something for him to use to help, you know, learn about things. That's the way I think it should be. But odds are nowadays we get like one accessory, maybe two if we're lucky. But you would think for the cost of what this guy was, along with the importance of who this guy is, he would at least get a blaster also to go with his sword. Yeah. You know, something to, you know, something for a little bit like a stab, stab, shoot, shoot, stab, stab, shoot, shoot, you know. But no, we don't get that. We only get a sword by the looks of it. Okay. Thank you. Although, and I kind of mentioned this earlier during the positives, although the, the figure is colored nicely, the purples just seem too dark. I'm not sure if it's, you know, the lighting of where I live or if it's just my eyes. Maybe they can't see purple that easily. But I, I look on the camera and the camera seems to pick it up pretty decently. But to me, it just seems to almost be as dark as the black itself. You know, I'm not sure what it is, but it just seems that the purples are too dark. I, the up next, this is going to be a hot take, I think, and I understand that people don't agree. I think combiners, it doesn't matter if it's Minosaur, if it's Computron, if it's Superion, if it's Bruticus, if it's, uh, oh, Devastator, if it's Defensor. I think, honestly, these combiners should be sold as exclusively as a set that that way we could avoid having to literally hope and pray that every time we go to a store that they're going to have that component for the longest of time uh during legacy the only the only member of the stunt cons i could find was drag strip he was actually pretty plentiful where i live not so much for dead dead end I saw him only once, and thankfully I picked him up. It was when I was uh, at Target with my students. I picked him up uh, one day when I was at Target with my students. Uh, Breakneck and... Uh, Breakneck and... Oh God, there's... I can't recall, no, I can't recall who the other one was. Well, Breakneck and the other one, I had to order exclusively off of uh, Amazon because I just could not find them. And we were already uh, starting out we were already like into the midway point of uh evolution so it's like the longer i waited to try to find those other two uh limb limb pieces basically i knew that i would never find it and then the price from the third party market would just keep jacking up because i think i paid a little bit over 50 dollars per figure i can't recall uh i can't recall right now but and then to top it off, I had to pay, like I like I showed here, I had to pay over $100 just for the Motormaster figure. So I think, honestly, these 
combiner should be sold as a set. I would be willing to spend slightly more for a, a guaranteed set instead of hoping and praying that I would go to Target, go to Walmart, go to Fred Myers with just the hope that I could find these pieces, especially when Tar uh, not Target when Hasbro makes the fucking grandiose idea that they are going to sell Motormaster, that they're going to sell Motormaster exclusively to, you know, I'm guessing to one store, or they make the, the distribution so fucking impossible that nobody can find this goddamn figure. I think that they should just be sold as a set, which is kind of sad because now, uh, recently it was announced that they are selling, um, uh, not Motor Master, Minasaur, they're selling Minasaur as a, a combined set, and I, I'm guessing it's supposed to have more cart, uh, cart, excuse me, more cartoon, uh, accuracy, oh, excuse me. But the fact is, they could have gone, they could have avoided all this fucking problem if they had the foresight to actually, you know, decide, hey, we're just going to sell Minnesota as a, a package deal. We're, we're, we could char we'll charge $200, we'll charge $250 for a set. That way, everybody can actually get this figure. Now, I know the argument will be, well, not everybody has $250, and I understand that. I'm not sure how we could get over the cost the cost, you know, issue, you know, the pros and cons, I'm not sure how we could get over that, but the fact is, anything has to be better than trying to piece together these figures when Hasbro's own distribution, to be quite honest, is fucking shit. Okay, so, um, the next up, the, the, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe I'm just wanting to relive the old days. The more I... Now, when I was... Uh, when I first got this guy out of the box, I was moving him up and down on my desk. And I'm not sure if my the microphone on my headphones were uh, picking it up. But I could... I actually loved the sound. You know, I loved the sound. It sounded like the engine was revving up as I, as I was moving him. But then I also started to yearn and miss... The days when the wheels were actually had rubber on the on the wheel itself. For some reason, they did that with uh, Beachcomber during ev their, during its evolution release earlier this last summer. But I'm not sure what it is. I just find myself wishing we had rubber wheels again. Do I want metal? I would like to have metal, but I understand that that we are we're way past the days of using metal for transformers. It's just it costs too much and everything. I understand that, but is it too is it too much to ask for simple rubber wheels? You know. Okay, and next up, this is what I was kind of talking about during the negatives. I am not a fan of the whole idea of Motormaster having an exoskeleton already, which is basically you know it's already part of this trailer. I am not a fan. Of the exo of them having exoskeleton for Motormaster, it, it's it's laziness to be honest. It's fucking laziness. The whole concept of a combiner, like it was with Evil Fusion, which I fucking hate that name, but the whole idea of a combiner is you take multiple parts to make one. You see what I'm doing here with both my hands. This is like a good example. I'm taking two fists and I'm making one huge meaty fucking sludge hammer. You're taking two to make one, you know? That's what a combiner is. You're taking multiple pieces, so in the combiner's, uh, combiner's example, you take five and you take those five smaller pieces to make up a huge motherfucker that could stomp the shit out of uh, Optimus Prime if he wanted to. However, they, they they did not do that with Motor Master for some, or Minotaur for some reason. They turned it into a fucking exoskeleton for Motor Master. So the whole idea is, well, if you don't have Breakaway, you don't have a Breakneck, or Breakaway, Breakneck, Drag Strip, Dead End, Wild Rider, all those guys. If you don't have those guys, but you have Motor Master, you can still form Minotaur. Well, what's the fucking point if you have Drag strip, breakaway, dead end, and uh, 
God, I can't. Why is it I can never get these? Those. Anyway, why is it that you can have the exoskeleton for Motor Master, but then you have these other guys, but you don't have fucking Motor Master, so you got a, you got four Stunticons basically that can't do jack shit besides convert into their alt form. You know, I don't like it. I don't like it, and it, I think it goes to show that Hasbro was not thinking properly when it came to the development of this guy. Whoever I would, I wish I was in the board meet, the, the meet or the development meeting the, when it came to uh, Motor Master. Okay, guys, so what do we got? We got we we're going to be debuting a brand new Motor uh, Minosaur for this Legacy line that we're getting that we're uh, about to launch. What ideas do you have? Well, sir. Well, sir. In my genius opinion. We should give Motor Master an exoskeleton. Exoskeleton? Yes, an exoskeleton. You see, a lot of insects have... You know, shut the fuck up. We know what a fucking exoskeleton is. Anyway, basically, you know... Oh, well, oh, fuck it. I, I had this whole scenario in my head, and I just fucked it all up. I fucked it all up. I can't believe that. Anyway, but... Basically, what I'm trying to say is, it's no longer a fucking combiner when you have an exoskeleton here, and you can just basically plug this guy into it. It's not a combiner. You're not... Granted, it's... You're taking, basically, you know, to make one. But it, it looks kind of funny when you have Motormaster basically on stilts. He's on stilts, basically. And, and I'm just not a fan of that. To me, a combiner is a central figure so like say uh let's say oh motor master for stenticons or onslaught for uh the combaticons and then you add like a fucking power ranger even though i don't collect power rangers you add the others to the arm you know to the arms and legs to make one big motherfucker they still do that with Power Rangers, right? I, I haven't watched Power Rangers since, like, 93, so... Well, I don't want to say 93, that's a lie. The last one I actually watched, I think it was, like, Power Rangers, Lightspeed Rescue, and that was, like, what, 99, 2000-ish? Anyway, uh... They make up... You're taking a shit ton to make one. I don't want a fucking Transformer on stilts. I want a fucking combiner and that's that's kind of like the problem here that i have i do not view uh, an exoskeleton as a combiner for a transformer it's fucking stupid it's stupid i don't like it i'm not sure if anybody else did i don't ask any of i don't really ask people what their opinions of you know intricacies like exoskeletons yes or no you know, normally I like to ask more in-depth questions like, hey, what do you think RC likes to do on her free time? No, I, I really don't ask that. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, so not a fan of the whole exoskeleton. Does it, does, does, like, and, and this is why it kind of goes into the, uh, pet peeves. It doesn't affect the figure. It's just something that drives me up the fucking wall. Finally, we have the blade. The blade for... Minasaur. It's it's a dark grayish color. Once again, like with the plot of uh, the purple, the gray. You know, at certain angles, especially when I'm looking at it head on, it looks fucking black. Even though for some reason the camera picks it up as gray. Uh, the hilt, it's all black. The handle is black. I just wish that the sword itself would have been like a chrome color, like a silverish, something to stand out. That, I think that would have been fucking awesome. Okay, let's put this back in the downward pose that I had it in. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I think that, you know, if you color the blade anything other than dark gray or black, it looks like to me, I think it would have been fucking awesome. But those are the positives, the negatives, and the pet peeves of the Transformers Legacy Commander Class Motormaster. Stay tuned, and I will be right back with my final thoughts.
pasta will stay good for a year in your freezer. This dried linguine will outlast most marriages. And this will probably survive the next ice age. On the other hand, Contadina fresh pastas and sauces won't last very long at all. We make them fresh, and we keep them fresh, which naturally gives them a great fresh taste. Contadina fresh pastas and sauces. Our days are numbered, but we wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, we are arriving at the end of this journey here, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the final thoughts of my uh, my review for the Legacy uh, Transformers Legacy Commander Class Motormaster. Uh, overall, I am very, very happy with this figure. This figure seems to be a pretty good uh, update to a G1 figure. Like I said, I never had a G1 Combiner figure. Uh, figure when I was growing up so it's nice to actually have one wait wait yeah I don't think I had any wait no I god it's been so long I think I did I can't I know for sure I did not have this guy though but uh yeah I did cutthroat I think he was the only one I had because when I was younger I thought for some reason cutthroat was laser beak but anyway um but, fuck, where was I? Oh, yeah. This seems to be a good uh, G1 update. I, like I said, I have the Combiner Wars Minasaur, or Motormaster slash Minasaur, but, yeah. But this one doesn't seem to, you know, it seems to be more in line with what you saw on the cartoon, which I like. The coloring is fucking nice. Like I said, with the exception of the purples, which is very hard for me to, my eyes to see. Overall, it looks fucking nice. The sword, the sword could have been painted a little bit differently with the blade. I wish there was a secondary weapon, like a blaster, for him to hold in his other hand. Because I could actually imagine a motor master just getting in the thick of a battle. He's taking on, let's say he's taking on like uh, two of the, the Dinobots. Let's say he's taking on, like say, Swoop. He's beating the shit out of Swoop. And Snarl is, you know, slowly coming into battle. You know, he he takes his sword. He slams the sword through one of Swoop's wings to pin him down to the ground. He then turns his arm like this with his blaster. He takes aim and he blows the fucking shit out of, out of Snarl. That would have been a fucking awesome, you know, like, idea I just had in my head. But sadly, we don't have a, a secondary blaster. So basically, it, it kind of just relegates him to being... Melee, yeah. The alt mode looks fucking awesome. I love the alt mode. I could actually imagine uh, Motor Master in his alt mode and Optimus Prime in his alt mode crashing head on head like they did in the uh, cartoon, if I remember correctly. The trailer, the trailer, oh my god, the trailer actually has a lot of heft. I love this trailer. It looks fucking nice. The, the downside to the trailer is, like I said, they use the trailer as basically as a parts former for his base mode and then also for his, the exoskeleton that they, you can use for Minasaur, which I just, like I mentioned already, I'm not going to get into that again, I'm just not a fan of that. When I first uh, pulled this thing out, I thought for sure that the rear was going to open up. Similar to how Optimus Prime's trailer opens up to reveal, his, you know, but it's not like that. This is actually all one piece. Let's see, can I? Okay, there you go. See, it's literally a parts form. You could take this off. You could take this off, and then you know. Oh my God! I hope I can put this back together again. I wasn't thinking, Jeff. Why? Why? What were you thinking? Stu okay, there it goes. Stupid. <laughs> anyway. So let's see here. Which one does this go? Does it go like this? There it goes. But yeah, so basically this is just a giant parts former. It's technically it, it, it's a trailer, but not a trailer in the technical sense. You can't actually open it up and have Dead End and Wild or Wild Rider or Breakneck or Drag Strip. You know, you can't have those guys riding in the back of this. But yeah, the the Nate. And then, like I said, some of the negatives are just the fact that this figure was impossible to find for any casual consumer or casual fan of Transformers. The the whole idea 
of selling these figures individually it, it's archaic we need to move especially when it comes to combiners we need to move to a, a set we need to start selling these guys as an exclusive set which you know i understand it's a cost issue but the thing is they're already they've already shown hasbro are, has already shown that they are willing to sell sets of two sets of two figures or even more three there have been times I bought uh, during the War for Cybertron set. I bought a three set, a three piece set. Was, I can't recall what it was called, but I think it was like one that the Vans voted on. It was a, uh, it was like a Cog variant, uh, hologram or 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 cloaked uh, Mirage, and Decepticon Impactor. That was a three set. They have shown that they are willing to do that. Hell, some of the figure, some of the things I have on the back. Uh, my shelf here are are two sets. I have the uh, oh the second Jurassic Park set that you see in the bottom corner there. I know you can't see it. I have the first uh, two pack Jurassic Park set. I have the four uh, the four piece Troop Builder set. I can't recall if there's any others. Uh, I don't think so. I think that those may be it. And then earlier this summer, I also got the uh, verses of uh, it was a two piece set. So it, it's not unheard of that Hasbro has done this before. They do it all the goddamn time. So they're willing to make a, a you know make a jump with two and three piece sets. Why not a fucking five piece? Like I said, I understand it's a cost. It's a cost. I understand that. But I think a lot of people would be willing to buy. A set of stunt cons if it was already as one set, you know, instead of trying to go and go to Target one day and find drag strip, have to wait three months before you find fucking dead end, and then have to go to Amazon for breakneck, breakaway, whatever the fuck their names are, and then ultimately you have to go to Amazon for Motormaster, you know. I think there's, they should just have one set that you can buy, and sadly. Even though that's what I'm mentioning, I'm mentioning right now, that's what they're actually doing because of the fact that they're re-releasing the motor, uh, the Stunticons as a set. Now I can't recall what it's going for. The only difference between what I have and what Hasbro, I think it's like a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. But what the difference is is I think that it's added like details and everything on the figure. Just I don't think there's anything actually new for the figures themselves. And then, like I said, for the pet peeves, I'm not a fan of the exoskeleton. The bl the blade of his sword could have been better and all that, you know. So even though the figure is nice, it still has a little bit of a few drawbacks. But overall, the figure is fucking, fucking nice considering what it is that we get, you know. But that is about it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed this rather long uh in-depth unboxing and review i knew that this video would be a little bit longer because of the fact of everything that there is and i wanted to make sure that it was worth it you know so i uh, at the very end of this video if you want to stay and watch there's actually going to be uh some the outtakes it's of me watching and converting the cab portion of motormaster i was watching uh, MGO316, his Just Transform It video, which, like I said, I'm going to put into the, li the link into the description below. So I just want to say thank you to everybody, and until next time, have a great day, everybody. Peace out. Every penny counts, so uh, we can do better shopping at Lucky's, and we can save more, and we can go on a trip or something with that extra money. I've got better things to do than go grocery shopping. <laughs> One of the checkers will yell out, three's a crowd. And then someone will come over and take your cart, and then get through the traffic jam. Well, I save, let's see, $10 a week, times 52 weeks, $520. That's a couple of weeks wages for me. You have to be thrifty nowadays. You work too hard for your money. Think of all the things you could be doing. If only you had more energy. This kind of energy comes from food by eating a well-balanced diet with vitamin B complex and biotin, the energy releasers.
to be sure you're getting enough energy releases. Take Theragrad M High Potency Multivitamins with Minerals, rich in B-complex and biotin. They're essential for converting food into the energy you need. So eat right and take Theragrad M from Squibb with energy releases. Unleash your energy. Hey guys, Jeff AK Geekers here. What you are about to watch, this is something I actually wasn't planning. I uh, stopped recording to uh, convert the figure, the Motormaster figure, but I figured, hell, let's let's have some fun with it. So I'm actually going to put, uh, disable my face cam. I have uh, MGO 316 video up uh, on the display capture. I will go on record and say I don't agree with everything MGO says, but I do give the guy credit that he is very informative when it comes to Transformers. So I want to give him credit for that, but like I said, I just don't agree with some of the things he says. So I will also post a link to this, uh, the Just Transforms It, Just Transform It video. So in case you actually ever get this figure, I encourage you to go watch him. Don't watch my uh, conversion of this guy because I fucking suck. I'm not sure if this is going to be added to the main video itself or if it'll be added at the very end as like an outtake. Now, do not be shocked if I rewind the MGO video a few times because I am slow as fuck when it comes to converting these guys and do not be shocked if I let out a few hundred profanities as I'm trying to convert this uh, motherfucker. Okay, so let's get going, but before I do, let's get another drink of water. And since uh, normally I would not be recording this, I'm probably going to just be talking to myself. So don't be shocked if you hear me just like kind of rambling on because of the fact that normally I do not do this on camera. So. Let's get going, shall we? So let's turn off the face cam. There we go. Three, two, one. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and it's time to just transform Transformers Legacy Commander Class Motormaster. So without further ado, let's just transform it. Okay. So we'll start off with the cab section here. So what you want to do is you want to take these side panels here, bring them out, bring these panels down like so. Okay. You want to just untab these side sections here. Well, okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold the fuck up. Open. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> See this? What I mean, he goes so fucking fast. Like I can't tell if now this is untab. Wait, hold on. Okay, so pull these out. Okay, I pulled these out. <laughs> See, this is why I always say, okay, hold on. Is that me? Oh, okay, there's that. Okay, so this open. Okay. The thing is, I don't think that, maybe, maybe, I thought this part was supposed to flare out. Let, let, let's look at this again. So what you want to do is you want to take these side panels here. That's what I did. Bring them out. Bring these panels down like so. You want to just untab oh, these okay. side that sections here. Okay, and was... open this front section up. You want to take these top sections here. Bring them up and over. There's a tab slot connection right here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Fucking slow down, Emgo. You move like... See, this is one thing I miss. I wish that Hasbro did, like, with the QR code, that they would actually have a, a slow conversion video for people like me who are fucking slow as motherfucking hell when it comes to uh, converting these things. Okay, I'm going to say that there's a tab. So the tab. Okay, there's that. Okay, and there's that. Okay, so I'm guessing that these are the legs. Okay, so... 
Just tab that in. Once you've done that, you can straighten the leg out. Okay, so legs can straighten out. Excuse me. And bring the leg out like so. So undo that. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can change. I had it at 360p, and so I'm not sure if it's my computer. It could be my computer. My computer is pretty old, so. Bring this up and over. Tab that in right there. And straighten out that leg and bring that down. So now that we're here, we're going to flip the wheel in, take the suction, just swing it in so you can rotate this around and bring that back in. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, on, hold the fuck up. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. So does he... Okay, so that, that goes like that. Wait, does it go like this? Or, or does it go like... Okay, so it goes like... Okay, I think I got the leg portion. At least that one. Wait, hold on. Did I do it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Hold on, let's, let's, let's pull this guy out. Um, oh my god, see this is the one thing I just, it gets me. Hold on, does it go? Okay, let's rewind it. <laughs> and bring the leg out like so. So undo that. Bring this up and over, tab that in right there, and straighten out that leg, and bring that down. So now that we're here, we're going to flip the wheel in, take the suction, just swing it in so you can rotate this around, and bring that back in. Then you're going to collapse in this panel here, hold on, hold on, hold on. close this up, then bring this panel down. See, the thing is, I'm confused. Okay. Because he talks so fast and he does. Okay, so maybe it goes like this. He talks so fast and the thing is, he's already converted these fi fig this figure before, so it comes pretty easy. But if you're doing this as like a first time, you're gonna be re re uh, rewinding the same portion over and over again. Okay, so then I guess you can do that. Do this. There you go. Okay. Wait, hold on. Why the fuck does one leg look so fucking weird? See, I think I may have done something wrong. Okay, no, wait, never mind. It looks like it's okay now. So. Okay, so we got these things that are still sticking out here, though. So let's. <laughs> Bring it over, and you have a tab slot connection right there. Okay, so there's a... Lock that in. He said there's a tab slot. Okay, I see it. Okay, there goes that one. Oh my god, these knee pad things. And the thing is, this... There's a slot, but it doesn't stay firm. Oh my god. Okay, so... Bring it over, and then, there you go, there it goes, okay. Now for some reason, he just looks kind of weird. I'm not sure if I did something wrong. Maybe it's just my, the way I look at it also. Okay, hold on, I'm going to. Okay, so let, let's just continue on now. Let's continue on. And there you have that leg all done. Second burst just like the first. Flip that wheel in. Bring it in. Rotate. Flip this panel in. Close all of this up. Bring this panel down. Swing it in. Tab slot connection. And there you have the legs all done. And now we move on to the upper body. 
I'm going to untap his forms from this section here. Okay, so untab the arms. See, I'm always so fucking nervous when I'm con converting these. Free okay, this one actually popped out fine, no problems. I'm always kind of worried when I go to convert these figures the first time or ever, you know, like, because I'm, I've heard some horror stories when it comes to, uh, when it comes to converting these figures. Like, I remember, I think it was, uh, Hoist from Earthrise, I think it was, like, one of his pegs would actually break off when you, uh, when you're trying to convert him. And that's why I never even converted that figure. Because I didn't want a peg to break off. Now he said that's supposed to. No. No that's. Oh my god. And see. Oh there we go. There we go. Okay so let's. Okay so there. Here, and then just rotate these out, bring the arms out, bring it down, tab in to either side, right there. Okay, so these are supposed to tab in. Okay, there goes that one. That's a strong tab. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Whenever I hear and I feel it tab into place, I fucking feel awesome about that. I'm like, okay, at least I know I did something fucking correct. Okay, so we are now looking at him in this position. Okay. There. And then you're going to rotate this up like so. Bring this up and over his head. And you have a tab slot connection right here. Just tab that into place. Like okay, so. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And of course, it's so fucking dark in my apartment. It's not tabbing. Okay, okay. I think that's. I think it tabbed in there. Okay. See, sometimes, especially like whenever I convert them, there are times I actually feel and hear it tab in, like with the arms. But then there is times like with the backpack here that it, it went in, but it really didn't. You didn't feel or I didn't feel or hear it. Yeah. You know? Okay, so we are now at this. Position. Although I'm just not a fan of how he's standing. I'm wondering if I did something wrong. See, look at the way he's he is hunched over. Like, what the fuck? Hold on. Did, is that it? Was it? Oof. And it doesn't help this motherfucking piece here does not want to stay tabbed in. I'm wondering if it's these uh, feet here. I'm wondering if I did that. Well, that looks a little bit better now. And last thing to do. Open up these panels and flip out. Okay, so open up the panels, flip out the arms, oof, there we go, there's that one, and here is this one, there we go. Okay, so here, okay, I think that's about it. So let's just continue. About his hands. Close it back up. Open the panel. Flip out his hand. Close it back up. And there you go. There you have Motormaster in his robot mode. And now for the trailer. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it at this point right here with this guy. I'm going to uh, resume the normal recording and uh, we will then tackle the, or I will tackle the 
the trailer to get his accessories out. So stay tuned, and I'll see you with the continuation. Be right back. Alrighty, everybody. I feel kind of stupid now, but so I am going to do the do what we did with the uh, conversion of the cab. I'm going to just I just want to figure out how to get the accessories out of this box out of his trailer. So we are going to go back to the wait, wrong one. I'm going to go back to the. There we go. There you go. And let's continue on, shall we? What are you going to do? Just oh, it does have that up. You're going to take wait, the storefront on, section on. here. And... So this actually. How does it... Wait, hold on. I, I see it. I just don't. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. See, this is why it sucks not having nails. <laughs> oh my god, really? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it actually does have a kickstand or whatever it's called. That okay? Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's. Nah, okay, let's continue on. And just pull that off. Yeah, the sword. The sword just stores right here in this post. Okay, so he's just said. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's a sword. I'm not sure if he had a blaster or the blaster is for the Minasaur component or the combiner po portion. So let's just put this back together. There. I like that. I like that. I like how you can literally just pull it apart a little bit. And then you can just piece it right back together. I like that. That is cool. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm going to watch this real quickly and see if there is a blaster or anything for him. Make room for that. Get that out of the way for now. You're going to take this section and rotate it up and open all of this. Open all of that. That will free up this section right here. And then we can just open this up. Open this up. And then you're just going to collapse all of this in and peg it all together. Okay, I'll be honest. I'm getting a panic attack watching him do all this. I am not a fan of conversion, converting these figures, and especially when you have a figure that has a lot of stuff like, uh, like uh, Motor Master here. I'm just watching this. I'm like, oh my god, holy shit! Like so, and we have that going right now. And we're just gonna leave that off to the side. And continue on with all of this here. So you want to remove this top section from the bottom, like that. You're going to split all of this. Remove this. This is going to be cannon here. Flip that down. Rotate these handles out, and then just angle this piece up. And this is going to plug in right here onto this post, like so. So you have that going on. Again, we'll put that off hmm. to the side. Okay. So now, I'm going to take this panel here, open this up, take this combined mode foot, push this out, and leave that like that for now. Same thing on the other side, second versus like first. Open that up, just kind of push that foot out, straighten it out, and there you have that, which we're going to put off to the side for now. Now we're going to take this section here, split this in two, like so, and you're going to bend this section in at this hinge here. Same thing on the other side, just bend that section in on this hinge here, and we're going to leave that like that for now. Now we're going to bring in this chest piece here. Okay, I'm guessing that uh, Motor Master doesn't actually have a blaster. I'm guessing maybe it's just the sword. So I'm going to actually stop this uh, portion of the recording here, and then I'm going to jump back into the uh, standard recording. So like I said, this is going to be at the very end of the video, I decided. So yeah, so I'll see you guys back you know, at the normal portion. So see you all then.